I believe fraud's really prevalent in a global economy and it can happen in any organisation. So big organisations, small organisations, it's amazing how prevalent it is. The segregation of duties is something that you know, often get overlooked in, a, in an IT environment. I think the, you know, particularly in really small businesses, they uh, often one person has you know, absolute control over everything. Human behaviour is often you know, your, your best indicator of things not being quite right. But if you do have someone that's been particularly difficult to deal with and unwilling to share information, you know, those can be indicators too that you know, they don't want or there's something that they're not quite willing to share, then that could be an indicator of fraud happening. Be alert to the IT environment particularly. I mean, I think that's one thing that I am conscious that it's constantly changing. This particular individual went on um, annual leave and when they came, when they were on annual leave, someone was taking over their, their, you know, their position and asked a question, a really simple question. The auditor happened to be just standing next to them and, and you know, as it transpired, there was a, a very prevalent and underlying fraud that had occurred. You know, and it, it stems back to the IT system. You know, the person had access to set up a supplier in the system that all looked absolutely legitimate. And the you know, if you went further back and you did a credit check or you know, did some sort of own diagnostics on whether your suppliers were legitimate, everything looked above board. I have had instances where very. Um, devious I suppose. One was where someone had gone to the extent of creating a, a another company and then created fake invoices so on the face of it as an auditor you'd look at it and you'd say well it's a legitimate in invoice, it's been approved therefore it's paid and it's paid in the system. Now from an auditor's perspective what we could often do is look at linkages between a bank uh, account that's been set up for your supplier and also a payroll uh, bank account and see whether there's any matches. So, oftentimes people don't think that far ahead, and they'll use the same the same bank account for their payroll uh, amounts that are going in as you know for their supplier payments that they've um, illegally been accessing. So, it's a, a good good check, <laughs> good auditors check. It was a good example of people just you know finding a way with the system to you know, circumvent the controls, even if there were controls, and pocket the money. We're not necessarily going to always pick up fraud, but if we do or are alert to fraud and have that sort of mindset, then you know, once we've uncovered it, we should be you know, making further investigations and understanding what the root cause is. Don't go talking to the client straight away because there could be an underlying reason as to why yeah, it is what it is, and you know, if you start throwing around the word fraud or something's a bit fishy, then oftentimes you might alert the person who's actually committing the fraud um, to start covering up. Just be aware of some of the, you know, the latest scams and things that are going on. We had an example recently where the CEO, I just happened to be talking to him, and he said he'd been. Uh, sent an email that looked as though it was an internal email asking for a, uh, a sign-off of a particular payment, but he queried it and found that someone had actually hacked into their system and found the, you know, the person's account details, created a seemingly normal email trail. Even if you're a young, just starting your career, don't ever feel that you know, you're not a valued part of the, you know, the audit chain. In a lot of instances it, it is the, the ones that are fresh out of a university or are more up to date and more up to speed with some of the, you know, the, the issues that can be faced. Um, the only thing is to you know, kind of balance that with not jumping in boots and all if you like, <laughs> making sure that they go and ask or talk to the appropriate people. You know, it's not always the experienced, you know, sort of uh, auditor that you know is in the right place at the right time. It sometimes is the you know the yeah, the people with the curiosity and the questioning mind. You know, the ones that are straight out of school. Being alert to that, I think, is you know, a really important skill to have even in your early days of your career. Mm -hmm.